One of the biggest accolades in racing is to train the Grand National winner and back in 2014 that dream came true for Dr Richard Newland when his horse Pina de Rey crossed the famous finish line first. So today I'm here in Worcestershire to talk to the man himself about how to spot the next Grand National winner. Richard, thanks so much for joining me today. Now tell me, what was it like when Pino de Rey crossed the famous finish line? Well, it was pretty surreal, really. Um, something we dreamt of for, for many years. I've been training for a number of years. My first ever runner in the Grand National is the dream race. It's the race that every jump trainer wants to win. So when we, when we jumped the last, and finished in, running into the, into the finishing post uh, in the lead, it's just an incredible feeling. So did you have a particular training regime for Pino to get him ready for the Grand National Tour? Not particularly. The only thing about him is he, Pino de Rey is a horse that had been injured as a young horse, so he'd missed a couple of years, and so I had to be a bit careful to mind him. You, the, these thoroughbred horses can break down quite easily, so we didn't do a lot of blistering fast work, which you might do with some younger horses, but what we did do is we did not make him doing his three miles up our gallop every day, six days a week, for many, many uh, weeks and months, and, and, he, and we also turned the horses out in the paddock to allow him to graze and, and just get him into a good sense of well-being, but uh, it all came together well. And how do you spot a Grand National winner? You've got to have a horse that, that can stay the distance. It's the longest race in the world, four and a half miles, but there's also over 30 fences to jump. So you've got to be able to jump and last the distance. And it sometimes suits an older horse, like Peter de Rey was. He was 11 years old when he won it. So do you have a hopeful for this year's Grand National at all? I've got a horse called Abolitionist that I'm really hoping will run. He was actually bought for last year's Grand National, but he got injured along the way, so he hasn't run for me yet. But he's been bought for the race. He's been placed in the Irish Grand National. He's the right type of horse. Well, thank you, Richard. Good luck next April, and I hope you do well there. Thanks very much, Katie.